Hey guys, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that has a great time laughing at stupidity. Today, we're going to start my new series, Flurfs Say What? Where we take a look at the stupid fucking shit the Flurfs keep saying in my comments section. At this point, with all the dumbass videos and stupid comments, it's almost like they're writing my content for me. So thanks for that, guys. We're going to kick things off with a couple of Flurfs who don't know how to leave just one comment. I get called stupid because I use math. And Grandfather Dumbass can't do a single video without leaving a lovely, friendly comment towards me because he just loves me so, so much. So if you like the sound of any of that, I'll see you after the intro. We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Find the Find the ah, great, you've come back. Right. Let's do this. So one thing I've noticed about my videos is that as soon as I upload them, the first comments are usually from Flurfs. Now, to me, this says that they're not only subscribed, but also have notifications on, which means that they're watching my videos, they're using all their sock accounts to give me all the down votes, they're commenting a bunch of stupid stuff. And I love it because so does YouTube. What you stupid Flurfs don't realize is that all the interaction on my channel, be it good, or bad is getting me picked up by that YouTube algorithm and helping my channel flourish. So please keep it up and thanks very much. First, we've got this comment from Alex Brown, which reads, you Globers do realize if it was so easy to prove the globe, you would have been able to do it by now, right? I'm, I'm talking hard evidence, not your math equations from the 1800s. Kind of makes you look stupid when you're quoting people that never even went to space. And of course, NASA, enough said there. Also, if you've never watched a Flat Earth debate, you might want to get in on that because, sorry to say, the Globers have not won any. Just saying. He says that you Globers would have been able to prove it by now, and, and we have since Eratosthenes, you know, and every bit of technology and measuring and equipment designed to look at the shape of the Earth, including all the multiple hundreds of thousands and pictures of videos from space, seismology, which can look at earthquakes and use that to measure the circumference of the planet and stuff. If you look at my last video, the Bedford level experiment proves that over six miles there is indeed curve. It boggles my mind how, even though there is all this proof out there, you can still say you've never proved it. I mean, take Einstein for instance. He wasn't around until the 1900s and he came up with a lot of math that we still use today. But you are right, none of them have ever been to space, but you know what? They were smart enough to look at observations around them and figure out what shape our planet is. Then he says, I've never seen a flat earth debate. Nothing that you presented me tonight would even make me consider that the earth could possibly be fat because you haven't given me any facts. How can you still think the earth is flat? So what I'm here to do tonight is to show everyone how fucking stupid the whole idea of a flat earth and the people that subscribe to it are. I will answer your little questions and ridicule you for the stupid responses that you give. And I will let everyone watch and see how truly dense you are. And I'm going to enjoy doing it. So come on, flat of Jesus, bring on your best, because tonight we're going to see a second round of crucifixions. Let me, let me sum up this, this evening so far, okay? I got more pleasure out of staring at a dog's anus for 30 seconds, very intently, <laughs> um, than, than anything else cool, that right? I've, heard, I've heard tonight. Good, good thing I've seen as a thumbnail, you uh, weirdos. You guys look at dogs. Hey, the weirdos. The weirdos. I see the dog's ass, and that's what makes me weird. Okay, you know what? I'll grant that. That's rich. That's rich. Southern Israelite ate you fuckers. Southern Israelite ate you fuckers. See, you say you say why I don't like coming on here. The reason why I don't like coming on here is because it's cringy. And you've like you've like to say. Do you want to explain to me how a gyroscope doesn't prove the Earth is spinning? You you blokes like to say just for one second, we stick to one point and tell me how a gyroscope works. I don't know. I do, do, I, do I make gyroscopes? I can't have a video You don't know how a gyroscope. Did you just say you don't know how a gyroscope works? Movement. Isn't helping you? Next, we have Ali B proving that he's got confirmation bias. As usual, comma no space. Half our research, comma no space. The fact is, Wallace, no capital, was ordered by a judge to give the money back because he was found to be cheating and got charged with fraud. See, comma mon, catch up, fight the fat girth. Well, Ali, this is where you prove that you are only looking for things that will fit your narrative. Here is what happened. Yes, you're right that the money was ordered back, but not for the reasons you think. As soon as the flat earther who issued the challenge found out about the results, he rescinded the bet. 
and it was later ordered that the bet wasn't enforceable by law. So basically it couldn't be proved that it was a legal binding contract. If you would like to find out more information about the court cases, I'll put a link to them in the description. Ali B will be attempting to debate me on the non-sequitur show on Saturday, so make sure you tune in for that one. Next up, we've got Grandfather Dumbass leaving another lovely, pleasant comment. Lately, he has become the first person to comment on a whole bunch of my videos, so, um, thanks, mate, keep it up. Worst one yet, Quaig. By your calculations, you said the horizon was under four miles, yet at over four miles, the kayak was still visible. So once again, an idiot Gloober confirms, we can see much further than curvature would allow for. If, in fact, we were living on a molten spinning space pair with over 70% of the surface covered with water, hurtling through the vacuum of space at millions of miles an hour, pushing and dragging a giant spherical rock around with us because of the magic gravity, you are a twit. Well, actually, Grandfather Dumbass, it's been pointed out to me that my estimation of the bridge height at 1.5 meters was probably too little, meaning that my guesstimation of the average of zero height at 3.25 meters was wrong, and it was actually closer to 5 meters meaning that the horizon is going to be even further away than we thought. How about we pop over to the remedial classroom to have a look at the maths for that? <laughs> to calculate the distance to the horizon, you use the formula d equals 3.57 kilometers times the square root of the height of the observer. When you do the calculations for an observer height of 3.25 meters, you get just under four miles. However, when you do the calculations for five meters, you get close to five miles. That's a difference of nearly a mile. However, even if my original calculations were correct and the horizon was about four miles away, when they said they could see him at about four miles away, that was fine because he still hadn't gone over the horizon. The rest of what he says is just a misunderstanding of orbital mechanics and physics in general. My good friend Team Skeptic recently did a video in which he calculated the forces felt on a one litre bucket of water as it travels throughout our galaxy. Click on the link above and trust me, you're going to really, really like this video, but Daniel Pratt really, really, really doesn't. Next up, we have a flurf who doesn't know how to leave just one comment on a video. His name is No Globe. Brilliant, mate. That name must have taken you ages to come up with. With a fantastically funny name like that, I'm assuming you've got a whole bunch of scientific evidence to refute the things that we say. You're an absolute retard. Oh, uh, okay, well, that's just mean. You're just another delusional twat. Okay, man, chill out. Show me some bendy water, you religious cunt. Forget what I said about him having scientific evidence, because he's clearly a fucking retard. Here's a video of some bendy water, you twunt. Oh yeah, you're getting it. Alright, go down slowly. Alright, hey, right there, stop. Awesome. What is that? Thirty. Thirty? That was a clip of water being manipulated by sonic waves, proving what I say that water will conform to forces acting upon it. Now, on our Earth, what force do you think is acting on the water? Anyone? Desert file? Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Gravity! Yeah, that never gets old. Next up, we've got another flurf who doesn't know how to leave just one comment. Instead of attacking the flat earth, why not try and prove the claim we live on a globe? You, sir, have no proof that you live on a globe except what you were told when you were educated. Obviously, you have been well educated because you have lost the ability to question your education. On my video about the Bedford Level experiment, he says to stop attacking the flat earth, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is on part of my series called Explaining Simple Stuff to Flurfs, where I'm not really attacking the flat earth. If you want to see me doing that, check out my playlist called Flurfs Are Idiots. In Explaining Simple Stuff to Flurfs, I just provide an explanation of things that you really shouldn't need explaining. Then he asked me if I've ever seen the globe. Go to Google, type in him worry 8, go here, and there it is. And there it is in real time. So yes, Gasly, I have seen the globe. 
when I pointed this out to him, he started saying that pictures aren't proof of anything and he's got a picture of a dinosaur in his back garden that proves that there's a dinosaur in his back garden. You guys see the problem with that, right? I mean, when I say there's pictures of the globe, then I can go and get those pictures of the globe and show everyone and anyone can go and get those pictures of the globe. But when he says there's a picture of a dinosaur in his garden, he can't then actually present that picture of a dinosaur in the garden and I can't go and take a picture of that dinosaur in the garden. For fuck's sake, these people hurt my head. <sighs> well, that's it for episode one of Flurfs Say What. Come back tomorrow for episode six of Flurfs Are Idiots where we take a look at Sleeping Warrior. Then come back later on that day for me to debate Ali B on the Non Sequitur Show, so make sure you guys have subscribed to them. Thank you to my patrons. You guys are awesome. And remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. <laughs>